Hey y'all, it's Black or Raven. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a trip vlog, which I don't know if y'all know, but I hate trip vlogs, but I love y'all so much. I'm gonna do a trip vlog. Number one, y'all just love trip vlogs. Y'all love to see the dynamic of picking up and delivering and driving and how truck life is. And then this trip is very interesting. So you guys, I'm picking up in, where am I, Jesus Lord? I never know where I am, just horrible. Okay, I'm in um, Raleigh, North Carolina, and then I'm delivering in Alabama to a correctional facility, a prison. I don't think I've ever been to a prison. I feel like that's something I would remember, right? But um, I've been over the road for a little over two and a half years. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been to a prison, but like I said, I'm getting loaded right now. My curtains are closed because my sleeper is a mess, and it's really due to the fact that I've been, y'all know I'm over the road, so I've had 3 a.m. delivery, then eight in the morning delivery, then and just my sleep schedule's been all over the place, so I haven't really been keeping up that much. So while I'm getting loaded here, I'm gonna go ahead and straighten up, clean my floors a little bit, and then I will show you guys um, just a little quick overview of my trip plan, where we'll be going and where we'll be stopping. I won't get too much in detail because I'm actually gonna drop a full trip plan video like step by step all of the resources i use to trip plan so i'll kind of go over that briefly and then we'll be on our way so i'll see you guys in a second Remember when he told you he was about to bench uh -huh. yeah. You act like you and him, they give him a little trend to begin How you think you really gonna pretend Like you wasn't down and you called him again Plus Okay you guys, so I have my bills and Ooh, ooh, I am 9,200 pounds Okay Y'all, I don't know if you guys know But it excites me to have light loads Especially when you when you gotta pay for fuel and tear that truck up when you have those heavy loads. Mm-mm. I don't have time for it, but I knew this was gonna be like thought it was gonna be like twenty one thousand because that's what they put on the rate con, but they be like that. Okay. So I'm gonna go close my doors and then I'm going to do a little ghetto trip plan. I don't have a full clock because I have to do a split sleeper to make it to my delivery for this morning so i only have like nine hours so i'll kind of work with that and yeah um my truck i'm not done cleaning it i kind of try to do a little something that's one of the paintings i made i don't know if you guys know i'm into painting um but yeah hey guys i'm gonna close my doors trip plan and roll off Okay, you guys, so don't ask me why I'm so ghetto, but I don't know why. I, I have uh, like 300,000 manila folders that I never use, so I've been using them to um, <laughs> plan. It's so ghetto, but I don't. I just set it on my dash, and it's just thick, and it's just there. So um, I don't have a set delivery time yet, so I'm kind of going to wing tomorrow, but I know they ate through my clock, so I... Went on Loves. Y'all know Loves is the place to be. If you're looking for me, you're going to find me out of Loves. I'm a, I'll tell you right now. So I use the Loves apps to trip plan and get something reasonable. So you see, this is the cheapest Loves, uh, the cheapest fuel out of Loves on the route. And then this is where I'm going to stop for tonight once I think I'll be about out of hours. And that's kind of how I trip plan. But like I said, I'm going to do an extremely detailed video on how I trip plan. So you guys can see all of that and get some really good tips and tricks from that. So I'm going to throw these loves in my GPS and I'm out of here, baby.
made it to this loves i have literally three minutes left on my clock i, I just made it with just enough time and i'm a little nervous because it's 11 p.m and this is a loves in georgia and i am sure i'm going to have a fun time trying to find somewhere to park like i said i have three minutes left on my clock so tired I know I sound like I have a lot of energy but that's just my body overcompensating but um this is a really big loves I haven't been to this loves in a long time so I kind of forgot how big it was and not only do I not want to have to walk all the way up to the truck stop right now in the dark and in the cold by myself this late at night um, but I'm also just too tired to to make that truck so I'm gonna you know, do my little nightly routine, and then I will wake up early and take a shower in the morning. So I'll get some of that, because I know you guys like seeing how the, the showers are, and then I will hopefully be able to make it to the prison tomorrow. Um, they took so long to load me that I'm kind of pressed for time and hours right now. So hopefully I can make the cookie stretch and get there, because I hate wasting the day. So with that, y'all, I, I am going to do what I got to do to get my butt in bed and to sleep. See y'all in the morning. Good morning, y'all. I look like um, somebody's mama. But it is now 7 a.m. And I am going to pack my shower bag and go get in the shower. Thank God it's right around that time before everybody wakes up so all the showers are available. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and get my little behind in the shower. Y'all, listen to this nonsense. I know, um, I haven't been idling in my truck because this fuel is too hot to be doing crazy stuff like that. Um, so I just leave my truck off at night, as usual. Then once I wake up, I turn it up, let it warm up, and, um, my truck won't turn on. It's, it's trying to get on. Um, yeah, but no. What I'm going to do is wash my butt. I'm going to turn the power, the main power switch off. And just let it take a nap, I guess. Let it relax for a little bit. And um, this is some boo-boo. Ooh, this is some boo-boo. Y'all, welcome to trucking.
Oh, my truck is on. <laughs> um, it was just dead. <laughs> well, not dead, but the battery just needed a little, um, it needed a little TLC. So I did not know this, but clearly the best place to need a jump is Love's because um, they're free on the, on the lot. You just come and, and, and jump you. They have the the big commercial battery that they just roll out. I mean, as soon as he plugged in, I'm gonna put the plus and the minus on the truck just cranked right up. So I just need a little, mm, little boost. Um, thank God that wasn't more than what I thought it was. And I'm going to make up my bed pre-trip. So let me go ahead and make my bed and pre-trip and I'll check in back with you guys. Hey, you wanna say hello to the people? You, you trying to say hello to the people? Is that what's, what's going on? What? What? What are we talking about? Sir, excuse me. Excuse me. What? Bye. So you're gonna get an attitude and jump off me and then come back and be in my face. I don't know what we're talking about. What, what happened? Hmm. What happened, baby? What happened, Bucky? What happened? What you matter? Hmm? What you matter? Can mommy not be used as a chair, please? Can I not be used as a chair? Hmm? Can you go sit on your own bed? Okay. Okay. Hey, y'all. So, I still don't have my hours back because I overcompensated for time. Maybe just a little too much. So while I'm fake pre-tripping, I actually did do an actual pre-trip, but while I'm fake doing a pre-trip in the system, I'm gonna eat some watermelon or broccoli. Okay, I'm trying to squeeze this last few watermelon. I'm gonna time with that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, Let me show them how I do it real quick. Let me stop. 
I'm talking nonsense. <laughs> okay. Don't close it. Hold on. Don't close the gate yet. Let me get in. There you go. So then he said they're going to close this gate in front of me and then there's another gate behind me. They won't open it until this one is all the way closed. I will assume for their security measures and whatnot. And the other gate is open. And this is the second gate that they have to open next. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, you guys. So, I mean, I need the rest of these shippers and receivers to get with the prison program. Because these people are in this trailer unloading like, like it's the last load they'll ever get. I mean, they're in here with, uh, with some conviction. I, I just popped my brakes and they're halfway done unloading already. But um, it's very, it's it, it's very, um, what's the word? It's very uneventful, honestly. I thought this would be a little bit more exciting. I don't, I don't really know what I was expecting. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'll show you guys when I come out kind of the gate system again, but it's so simple. I just back in and they have a forklift and they are just flinging boxes and and rolling out with the forklift with uh with the load and um the guy kind of in charge of the shipping and receiving i guess he just came up to me and told me you know they're moving fast and as soon as they get that last box off i'm out of here which is no problem for me but in any other circumstances i would kind of get out and show you guys the outside more but i don't want to just be walking around the prison number one and number two i know it's probably some confidentially confidentiality issues with me you know recording too much so i also don't want to cross those boundaries so i kind of hope i was able to show you guys enough um any of my other newer truck drivers if you have uh, a correctional facility or prison or jail delivery um, don't be scared or too excited about it because it won't be that eventful honestly um Okay, they're closing my doors. Y'all, that is the fastest I've ever been unloaded. I mean, wow. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure they sign this paperwork and then I'm gonna pull out of here and go on about my day. I got another really good pan load and I am happy about that. Okay, and we out of there. They were checking under my trailer to make sure I was... <laughs> bringing anybody in or I guess to see if somebody try to sneak out under my trailer but um guys that was so not exciting but exciting at the same time um I hope it was at least enough entertaining for you all but I think I'll go ahead and cut the vlog here um stay tuned for a lot more videos just to be helpful to my newer drivers and just to entertain anyone else that's interested in trucking and with that, I love y'all so much, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.